Latihan 10 Listening section In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Pictures Questions 1 to 3 Directions There are three items in this part. For each item, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture in your test book and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the question and mark your answer. Example. Look at the picture and listen to the four statements. A. There is an empty basket. B. Some bananas are in the basket. C. The basket is made of wood. D. A girl is carrying the basket. Choice B. Some bananas are in the basket is the best answer to describe the picture. Therefore, you should mark B on your answer sheet. Now let's begin with picture number one. Number one. Look at picture number one. A. The man and his child are looking at a teddy bear. B. The man is taking a picture of his little daughter. C. The man puts his photographs in the album. D. The man is telling something to his daughter from the storybook. Number one. Look at picture number one. A. The man and his child are looking at a teddy bear. B. The man is taking a picture of his little daughter. C. The man puts his photographs in the album. D. The man is telling something to his daughter from the storybook. Number two. Look at picture number two. A. The computer is placed on a table. B. The CPU has its DVD-ROM opened. C. The mouse is wireless. D. The keyboard is in front of the monitor. Number 2. Look at picture number 2. A. The computer is placed on a table. B. The CPU has its DVD-ROM opened. C. The mouse is wireless. D. The keyboard is in front of the monitor. Number 3. Look at picture number 3. A. Some people are working in the operating room. B. They are working using a fencing mask. C. The assistants are preparing instruments for operation. D. One of the assistants is not wearing a surgical mask. Number 3. Look at picture number 3. A. Some people are working in the operating room. B. They are working using a fencing mask. C. The assistants are preparing instruments for operation. D. One of the assistants is not wearing a surgical mask. Part 2. Questions and Responses Questions 4 to 7 Directions There are four items in this part of the test. For each item, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English followed by three responses also spoken in English. They will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. You have to choose the best response to each question or statement and mark it on your answer sheet. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear. Did you go to the bookstore last night? You will also hear. A. No, I wasn't. B. Yes, I did. C. No, I haven't read the book yet. The best response to the question, did you go to the bookstore last night, 
is choice B. Yes, I did. Therefore, you should choose answer B. Now let's begin with question number four. Number four. Are there any students in the lab? A. Yes, there is a Labrador. B. No, they have PE lesson today. C. We are eating without you. Number four. Are there any students in the lab? A. Yes, there is a Labrador. B. No, they have PE lesson today. C. We are eating without you. Number five. Do you know where my watch is? A. Yes, it is. B. It's on the table. C. Wow, your watch is nice. Number five. Do you know where my watch is? A. Yes, it is. B. It's on the table. C. Wow, your watch is nice. Number six. Have you done your homework? A. I can't go back home now. B. His homework is fairly easy. C. No, I have something else to do first. Number six. Have you done your homework? A. I can't go back home now. B. His homework is fairly easy. C. No, I have something else to do first. Number seven. When will you introduce me to your friend? A. I don't have plenty of friends. B. Tomorrow would be best. C. I can't. I'm homesick. Number seven. When will you introduce me to your friend? A. I don't have plenty of friends. B. Tomorrow would be best. C. I can't. I'm homesick. Part 3. Short Conversations Questions 8 to 11 Directions There are four items in this part of the test. For each item, you will hear a short conversation between two people. You will hear the conversation twice. They will not be printed in your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers are saying. In your test paper, you will read a question about each conversation. The question will be followed by four answers. You have to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Example. You will hear. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Good morning. I still feel a bit nauseated today. Is that normal? Well, it's perfectly okay. That's the side effect of your medication. All right then. Thank you, doctor. You will read. Where does the dialogue probably take place? A. At a hospital. B. At a station. C. At a market. D. At a school. Answer A. At the hospital is the best answer to the question, where does the dialogue probably take place? Therefore, you should mark A on your answer sheet. Now let's begin with question number eight. Number eight. Do you know where my dictionary is? I forgot who borrowed it. No one borrowed it. It's been in your drawer this whole time. Oh, yeah, right. It must have been a while since I used it. Number eight. Do you know where my dictionary is? I forgot who borrowed it. No one borrowed it. It's been in your drawer this whole time. Oh, yeah, right. It must have been a while since I used it. Number nine. Can I help you, sir? Yes, please. I'm looking for a new sketchbook. Do you have any? Of course. How many do you need? Twelve of them. How much are those? Here you go. It's 112,000 rupiah. Number nine. Can I help you, sir? Yes, please. I'm looking for a new sketchbook. 
Do you have any? Of course. How many do you need? Twelve of them. How much are those? Here you go. It's 112,000 rupiah. Number 10. What a nice car! How did you get it? Thank you! It's a wedding present from my aunt. Wow, you must be her special niece then. Well, I should think so, since I'm her only niece. Number 10. What a nice car! How did you get it? Thank you! It's a wedding present from my aunt. Wow, you must be her special niece then. Well, I should think so, since I'm her only niece. Number 11. You should put a strap around it, otherwise it will fall. I think I tied it tightly enough. It should be fine. Well, taking precautions is important, you know. Number 11. You should put a strap around it, otherwise it will fall. I think I tied it tightly enough. It should be fine. Well, taking precautions is important, you know. Part 4. Short Talks Questions 12 to 15 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear two short talks. Each will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is being said. In your test paper, you will read two questions about each short talk. Each question will be followed by four answers. You have to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let's begin with the following short talk. Questions 12 and 13 refer to the following information. Every person has his or her own way to relax. Some choose to take a brief nap, some do yoga, and others may chill with music. In this more demanding and fast-changing world, it is a must that we take a moment off from our daily routines and be more engaged with ourselves. We hardly know our own selves. Who are we? What we want and where will we go? Our daily bustles make it hard or impossible for us to be relaxed and to pull ourselves away from a moment. If we continue on this way of life, there are some serious risks waiting at the end of our days. We may suffer from stress, depression, migraines, continuous fatigue, and even heart attacks. So to wrap things up, the only solution to battle all the hectic activities is to make peace with your mind. Go rest your body and refuel your soul. Questions 12 and 13 refer to the following information. Every person has his or her own way to relax. Some choose to take a brief nap, some do yoga, and others may chill with music. In this more demanding and fast-changing world, it is a must that we take a moment off from our daily routines and be more engaged with ourselves. We hardly know our own selves. Who are we? What we want and where will we go? Our daily bustles make it hard or impossible for us to be relaxed and to pull ourselves away from a moment. If we continue on this way of life, there are some serious risks waiting at the end of our days. We may suffer from stress, depression, migraines, continuous fatigue, and even heart attacks. So to wrap things up, the only solution to battle all the hectic activities is to make peace with your mind. Go rest your body and refuel your soul. Questions 14 and 15 refer to the following information. Robert Lee Frost, born on March 26, 1874, died on January 29, 1963, was an American poet. His work was initially published in England before it was published in America. He is highly regarded for his realistic depictions of rural life and his command of American colloquial speech. His work frequently employed settings from rural life in New England in the early 20th century, using them to examine complex social and philosophical themes. 
one of the most popular and critically respected American poets of the 20th century, Frost was honored frequently during his lifetime, receiving four Pulitzer Prizes for poetry. He became one of America's rare public literary figures, almost an artistic institution. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetical works. On July the 22nd, 1961, Frost was named Poet Laureate of Vermont. Questions 14 and 15 refer to the following information. Robert Lee Frost, born on March 26, 1874, died on January the 29th, 1963, was an American poet. His work was initially published in England before it was published in America. He is highly regarded for his realistic depictions of rural life and his command of American colloquial speech. His work frequently employed settings from rural life in New England in the early 20th century, using them to examine complex social and philosophical themes. One of the most popular and critically respected American poets of the 20th century, Frost was honored frequently during his lifetime, receiving four Pulitzer Prizes for poetry. He became one of America's rare public literary figures, almost an artistic institution. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetical works. On July the 22nd, 1961, Frost was named Poet Laureate of Vermont.